he has a very strangely shaped head. He has a sort of dome on the forehead. It's a very weird lump indeed. And that looks like a, a soft tissue mass, some kind of okay. swelling, yeah, some sort of growth. It, it's a concern, it is a worry. Mm. I'm concerned for him and I, I'm just really hoping that it is something benign. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I know, mate, I know, I know. Good boy. You've been exceptionally well behaved. It's most unusual. At the Richmond Wait practice, a familiar long. face has arrived Wait with a new long. feline patient for Scott. Hello, Liz. Hi. How are you? Gorgeous? I'm OK, thank you. Mwah. 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 So what have you got for me today? <laughs> well, a very special case, uh, yeah. Jacko Jackson, who's a bit of a mystery. Well, he must be <laughs> quite a serious uh, patient because he's got a surname. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've brought Jacko Jackson along today. He's a bit of a mystery, actually. He's got this strange domed lump on his forehead that's been there some time. I think it's got slightly bigger. I don't know if it's a thing to worry about or, or not, or if there's anything that can be done. Well, it doesn't take a vet to potentially see the problem. <laughs> He's got a very prominent forehead, doesn't he? Yes. Wow. Ever so. Yeah. And is it bothering him at all? He's prone to being a bit snuffly sometimes. Mm -hmm. So I just wondered if there could be anything underlying Stuck up that's... his nose. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. It's like a little alien almost, mm -hmm. isn't he? Yeah. My first impressions of Jacko Jackson is that he has a very strangely shaped head. He has a sort of dome on the forehead. It's a very weird lump indeed. It's a very, very solid lump and it's right over where his nasal passages are. So it's kind of here, isn't it? It feels bony. Uh, so it feels like almost his head is growing out a little bit. Yes, yeah. But why mm. is the question. Um, and it can be anything from you know, a foreign body that's got up there and caused infection. Uh, it could be polyps, a benign form of tumour, or it could be something a little bit nastier. But certainly yeah. when you see a lump that shouldn't be there growing at speed, mm. it's definitely something we need to look at. So it was the yes. right thing to bring him up. Yeah. Hey? I don't know if you're going to agree. Hey? I think he's <laughs> a cat that knows his own mind, this cat. I think he quite likes you, actually. Hey? Well, let's hope so. <laughs> let's, let's see if we can keep it that way, mate. Hey? <laughs> yeah? I think Jacko actually took a shine to Scott. Maybe he prefers men. I think he sort of like prefers an alpha male to a, to a female, <laughs> a soppy female like me trying to kiss him. Well, I think what we need to do here, Liz, is actually do some x-rays. Have a look and see what's going on around the head uh, how much of that lump is bone and how much isn't. And then from there, we can work out what the next step mm. might be. Yes. Sound okay? okay? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Sound okay to you, champ? Hmm? This case isn't like anything I've ever seen before. The lump on poor Jacko's head is really worrying. And I just hope the x-rays will give us some clue as to what lies beneath the surface and why he looks like an alien. I'll see you soon. So first time is over. No, now I need to do something mean to you. I'm sorry about that. Rescue cat Jacko Jackson has come in with a mysterious lump on his head. With Nurse Nathan's assistance, Scott's hoping to find some answers. You've got some pretty impressive talons there, Nate, so do watch yourself. Okay. Jacko is a Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde kind of cat. Some cats are like that, where they'll be all love and fuss and cuddles, and then the next minute they're savage. Let's just wrap him in a towel, I think. Might just do that, mate. Sorry, buddy. Let's just put you in the dark for a second. <coughs> Oof. Okay. Oh. A bit of cat swearing there. Okay. At least I can read my patients. Okay. I know, I'm sorry. <coughs> oh, I know, mate. I know, I know. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Back to love, back to love. Here we go. Here we go. All right. It was him. <laughs> so after a fairly strong protest, Jacko is sedated, and now we can move on and have a really good look at this lad's strange growth. Okay. At this stage, I have no idea what this could be. It could be caused by a lot of different things, some not so nasty and some incredibly nasty. X-ray. While owner Liz waits anxiously upstairs, Scott now moves on to the second part of his investigation. So what I'm going to do now is perform an endoscopy. I'm just going to place this endoscope very gently up his nostril. And have a look and see what's there. Mm. Okay. Well, 
there's a big white fleshy ball that's inside his nose and it shouldn't be there. This investigation has probably raised more questions than answers. Coming through. So, that is Jacko's head. Wow. So he has an incredibly large Roman nose. As you can see, yes. it's very, very swollen. But actually, you can sort of see this here, and that looks like a, a soft tissue mass, some kind of okay. swelling, yeah, some sort of growth. It's quite a dramatic image, I think, on the X-ray for Jacko, and, and how swollen it is um, and out of line is, is quite sort of staggering. And what I could see straight away was a, a white, fleshy mass. Oh, gosh. So I can't say right now what that is. Uh -huh. My hope is that it's a polyp. A polyp is a small growth that is usually benign. Have you had many cases like this? No. no. <laughs> In fact, no. I've uh, never known it to happen with any of my cats at all. Polyps are something that I'm sure you, yes, as a cat owner ones, with lots yeah. of experience, you mm. see a lot. And normally you see them in the ears. Yes. But to have it forcibly try and eject itself out of his face... Yes, yeah. ..is something I've not seen before. Um, I saw it in Alien once, but uh, not in real life. <laughs> oh. So, yeah, um, it, it's a concern. It is a worry. Mm. I'm concerned for him, and I, I'm just really hoping that it is something benign. This really is an intriguing case. The one thing I'm sure of is that it will be in Jacko's best interest to go ahead with the surgery and remove the polyp from his nose. I'll also need to take a bone sample that will tell us whether the lump is benign or cancerous. Look at you! You've been a very brave boy, haven't you? Yeah, little dome head, aren't you? <laughs> yes. But knowing how invested Liz is in her cats, hopefully the news will be good. Shall we get you home? Yeah, Shall we? I think so. Yeah. In you go, buddy. There. Go. Wow. Like there. Good boy. Yeah. Find out what's going on. It's been two days since cat sanctuary owner Liz first brought Jacko Jackson in to see Scott. He's a good boy. He's a jolly good boy. Today, surgery's been scheduled to try to remove a growth, also known as a polyp, that is blocking Jacko's nose. Scott will then take a sample from the strange lump on the cat's head to make sure it's not cancerous. Jacko Jackson's very important to me, so it's for his own good, for his comfort and his future, really. So it's like an investment for his future that he's here. Oh, let's get our boy out. So how's he been going, Liz? Um, he's been pretty good, actually. He's had a couple of quiet um, times, but right. not consistently. Generally, very bright in himself and active. Since the last visit, Jacko's been on medication to help his runny nose. So uh, the antibiotics, have they made a difference? Yes, I think definitely. Definitely much less snuffly. Um, oh! <laughs> he was. But no less feisty. <laughs> no less feisty. Jacko. Honestly, that is literally biting the hand yeah. that feeds you. Jacko is an interesting patient. He is a very difficult one to manage and to fully understand, uh, but he is a nice boy at arm's length. <laughs> Let me have a look at you. Yes, don't be grumpy. Let me have a look. That bone's just the same as it was. It's certainly not gone down, but the good thing is, is you don't seem to be as snotty, do you, mate? Hey, one thing I am noticing is you're very bony. Stay there. Tip, good boy, stay there. So yeah, he's lost about 100 grams, Liz, and that's uh, in the space of a week. So that's um, you know a decent amount, a significant amount, when I would have thought he should have only improved. Jacko's weight loss is making Scott even more worried that the lump could be cancerous. So what we're going to do today with your chap is to take him downstairs, give him a general anaesthetic. I'm going to be fishing around the back of his throat to see what I can find and hopefully pull out um, a large polyp. That would be great because I'm sure it's going to make him feel so much better. Yes. Um, and at the same time, we're going to take a sample of the bone over the nose. OK. And hope it's good news, you grumpy old brute. <laughs> hey. When there's the spectre of cancer hanging over any patient, it's always a good idea not to put your head in the sand and, in fact, go and chase it. So you say goodbye to Mummy. Don't say goodbye, do we? We say see you soon. You'll be a very good boy. Don't be a naughty boy. Yes. All right? I definitely need these fingers. Yes. Okay. Needs his hands. I do. <laughs> Liz is an absolute trooper. She understands we're trying to improve 
Jacko Jackson's quality of life, but to do so, we have to go through a few risks. So Liz has a lot of worries to deal with today. All right, sweetie. Lee, smells funny. Good boy. Now that Jacko Jackson's under anaesthetic comfortably, I can assess the lump. So I clip all the hair off and uh, it's just a very large, very hard lesion. Uh, I'm hoping it is just abnormal bony growth, but I do need to make sure. So I'm gonna take a sample from that site. The first thing I need to do with Jacko is to make a skin incision through the skin over the lump, just separate that tissue away and then bore a hole in his head. It's pretty horrible, but a really good way to determine does he or does he not have bone cancer. That's good. Okay. That's a little piece of bone there. So, now the fishing expedition begins, Sam. Okay. And let me teach you a little bit about fishing. Okay. <laughs> Rule number one, be patient. Okay. Yeah. Be patient. While there is nothing Scott can do about removing the bony formation on Jacko's head, he is hoping to help the cat by extracting a growth lodged in his nasal cavity. So I place a pair of forceps up the nostril and then grab hold of something I can feel and then pull it out. Wowza, look at that. It's not particularly elegant, but it does the job and out comes a large chunk of white tissue. You think, you know, how big that is, you know, it'd be like, having a golf ball up our nose. After removing several more pieces of tissue, Scott is certain oh. that Jacko will now be a much okay. happier cat. Yep, that's it. Thanks, Sam. Hopefully he won't get these ongoing infections and also we'll be able to give the diagnosis that Liz is looking for. Hi, Liz. Hello. Hi. Here's your boy. Oh. <laughs> I'd Hello. like to say he was good, but um, <laughs> you yeah. can't. No, I can't. <laughs> oh, look at you. Yeah. Look at you. So unfortunately, oh, the clip makes him look even yeah. angrier. But I'm hoping that what we've done is going to make him a lot happier. Yeah. Uh, so the good news is that um, I was able to take a sample from the lump, so we'll find out what that is. It's yes. a good chunk of bone. He seems very happy and bright. Well, I think so. I mean, I hope so. After dislodging that thing that was in his yes. nose and spending uh, much of his life, as you know, being snotty. Absolutely, Hopefully, yeah. It'll be um, interesting to see how, how he is later and over the next couple of days. Yeah. We've got all the samples that we need, but there is still that question mark, there is still that worry that we might find something that we don't want in the results that we're sending off to the pathologist. So we do have a slightly nervous wait over the coming days. Great to see you, Liz. And Joe, mm -hmm. thank you so much. My pleasure, thank you. as always. Bye, Jacko. Bye. Come on, Jacko. Be a good boy, no biting mummy. <laughs> Right. Bye, again. Liz. Bye-bye. Thank you. See ya. He's a good boy. Good boy, Jacko. Yeah. And in Sussex, cat sanctuary owner Liz is waiting to find out if the lump on Jacko Jackson's head is cancerous. He's a very brave soldier, aren't you? Scott's about to arrive with the results. Hi, Liz. Hi, Scott. How are you? I'm good, thank you. It's good. Hello, Jacko. <laughs> How are you, mate? Still as feisty as ever? Yes, he is. Hey. <laughs> he is a little bit. Yeah. And how's he been since we pulled all that nasty muck out of his he's, nose? He's not been too bad, actually. Less snuffly. Great. Definitely. Much better on his, you know, clearer breathing. And actually, I would say this is the first time I've actually heard him purr, so he's definitely sounding better. Yes, yeah. So the good news is that all the biopsy results are fine. There's nothing to worry about. God. Yeah. So they're benign lesions. So what I think is actually the polyp and the lump are actually two separate things. Uh, the lump might have been an old injury or something else. It's just caused a slight abnormality to the shape of his face. There's nothing to worry about. Wow. Liz is so relieved, you can see it in her face, and she's so excited about the future with Jacko Jackson without that spectre of cancer looming over him. But whatever I've done, I've kind of given him a bit of a personality transplant. Uh, yes, I, think. He, I know, <laughs> so far. Yeah. <laughs> so far, so good. Yeah. I was going to ask you if maybe you did that sneakily. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all, it's all part of the service. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really pleased that Jacko Jackson's got a real bright future ahead of him and now we can concentrate on, on building him up and get him strong again and get that weight back on. He's a survivor. He's not my little dome head now. <laughs> He's just lovely little Jacko Jackson. Here's to a worry-free future. 
Hi, I'm Dr. Kate, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to the Bondi Vet YouTube channel. Click on the screen for more great content. And for free, exclusive, never seen before Bondi Vet stories, you can sign up to bondipet.com and you can do so via the link in the description.